Marketing and advertising can be complicated. complicated. What's most important? What should I focus on? Direct marketing? Email campaign? Social media? Gold calling. With Marketing Atlas, you'll have a clear guide to get more leads, close more sales, and take your business to the next level. Welcome to Marketing Atlas. Marketing Atlas. Marketing Atlas. With your host, Hernan Vasquez. So here's why you always, always, always want to be running branding campaigns for your business. No matter how big you are, no matter how small you are, no matter how big your campaigns are, no matter how much you're spending on ads, you want to be running branding campaigns. I'm going to share with you our results running branding campaigns for our own business, for other people's businesses, and where it all started, okay? And the good news is that these are pretty inexpensive campaigns to run in general, and there's a reason for that as well, okay? Now, before I dive into that, let me tell you a little bit about how I learned about branding campaigns. I think it was like four or five years ago now. I was working uh, with Frank Kern. And back in the day, he was teaching and showing and training and demonstrating the power of what's called intent-based branding. It was super cool because we got a, you know, we were able to kind of unpack that idea of intent-based branding and how to create branding campaigns and whatnot and actually put them to work in Facebook, right? We did some tweaks. I went in and came in uh, kind of in the middle of the launch, and we were able to make some tweaks to the existing campaigns to increase performance. And then, you know, he started teaching to a lot of other people. I, I actually went ahead and record a couple of videos for his intent-based branding training, you know, the entire walkthrough, how to put it together on Facebook, and then started coaching a lot of people on intent-based branding, and, you know, under his wing. So it was pretty cool. But the reality is that the campaigns, the intent-based branding methodology or concept work really, really well. And it still works to date with some changes and some tweaks that we've been doing and some updates that we've been doing. Still works really well because it leverages two principles on what has to do with how we human beings are wired. Okay. And you can learn about these principles and many other principles in a book called Influence by Robert Cialdini. It's a great book. I always talk about it. I always recommend it. And when I started reading about these principles, it started making sense because what Robert Cialdini says is that there are two principles that basically regulate how we act and how we behave as human beings. The first principle is the principle of reciprocity. If I do something cool for somebody, that somebody, it's wired to fail indebted, to fail that they need to do something cool for me back, all right? So that's the principle of reciprocity. That's number one. Number two is the principle of authority. We tend to listen to somebody that knows what they're talking about, right? So, you know, just go ahead and read the book because it's pretty cool. And this intent-based branding methodology kind of approach those two principles and put them to work, especially on Facebook ads. Now, the concept of branding campaigns, it's not new, right? It's not like we came up with it or something like that. You have video discovery ads on YouTube. So if you want to show your videos to new people, you can do that. There's a, a brand awareness campaign on Facebook. Like you have spots on TV, you know, politicians are all about branding, brand awareness and eyeballs and all that. The concept is not new. But what I really like about running branding campaigns, on, specifically on Facebook, and what makes them different different is two main things. The first one is that people are not on Facebook to consume content. Okay, let's be real. People are not on Facebook to consume content. They go to YouTube to consume content. They go to other places to consume content, right? They're not on Facebook to buy anything. They're not on Instagram to buy anything. That might be changing over the next couple of years with changes in uh, to the algorithm. But bottom line is that they're not there to buy anything. They're there to just, you know, check with family, see cat videos and all that stuff. So that's the first thing, which is really important. You might think that it's counterproductive to do something like that, but actually it's not. And I'm going to explain why in a second. The second thing that I really like about Facebook is that Facebook allows you to understand the percentage of how much people are consuming your content. That means that let's say you have a five minute video and people can consume three seconds or 10 seconds or 30 seconds or two minutes or the entire video. And you can actually tell Facebook, hey, Facebook, I have this video that's coming out, right? Probably this video right here that you're watching will run it as an ad eventually. But you can tell Facebook, hey, Facebook, please go ahead and get people that are watching at least 50% of this video into an audience, right? That is something that other platforms are not able to do. So the reality is that if you think about it, 
And again, we're broadcasting to many channels right now, but on Facebook, people are not usually there to consume content, right? They're there for other reasons. But if they happen to come across a video of you that is really, really helpful, and they stay and they watch that video for, let's say, five minutes, right? Or 95% of the, the length of that video, that's a big engagement signal. That's a big engagement signal. So what I like about branding campaigns is that they're super inexpensive as well. We input this, we create branding campaigns for all of our clients, right? Every agency client that we have at scaledriven.com will go ahead, create a branding campaign. The reason behind it is because one, they're inexpensive. We usually run them with 10 to 15% of our budget. They're super inexpensive. Number two, they work to shorten the sales cycle. And this is really important, especially if you have high ticket products, especially if you have high ticket products. The sales cycle might be a month, might be six months, might be a year, right? But what if you could shorten that sales cycle from six months to a month? If you could shorten the follow-up from six sales calls to two, that's a big deal. That can increase your revenue by three, four, five times, but just doing that, right? By not doing anything else, not touching your pricing, your deliverables, anything like that. So I think it's really, really powerful for you to be running branding campaigns. Now, the methodology of that, we teach to our coaching students, right? And we also do it for our clients. So it doesn't really matter how you put it together, but here's a quick overview of what you do. Number one, you want to record really valuable videos. I think I've heard Tony Robbins once say that right now you can drop his name in the middle of the Sahara Desert, right? And you can fill up a stadium. But the reason behind it is because he's been putting out value out in the marketplace for the past 20 plus years. So now everyone knows Tony Robbins, right? So one of the things that we do is we put out video content like this, right? And we are really helpful. Like we're really, really helpful on this video content. We try to give away as much value as possible. That's number one. Number two, we have a call to action, right? In this case, it's 100M framework. So the call to action for this video would be, hey, if you want to learn how to create and launch Facebook ads that work every single time, get my framework. It's on sale right now. That's the CTA. This is kind of made up, right? I'm doing the CTA while I'm explaining the CTA. So we have a call to action. We have a video that is really, really helpful. And then what we do is we run that video as a, either a video views campaign or an engagement campaign to our ideal demographic, to our ideal audience. Now we do this with anywhere between 10 to 15 videos for clients. And then we decide the number one, the one that's getting the best cost per consumption. We use that kind of at the tip of the spear. And then we use the rest of the 14 videos or nine to 14 videos. We use them as additional content for people that saw that tip of the spear video. We show them additional content as well. Now, I usually recommend that you have these campaigns running in the background. It doesn't really matter how big your budget is. It doesn't really matter if you're running any other type of Facebook ads, because the way it works is that you want to target your website visitors. You want to target people that engage with your page. You want to target your lookalike audiences, your custom audiences. You want to target all of them with these videos so that you're always top of mind. So bottom line, run branding ads. They work. They usually take a little bit of time to work because you want to build the audiences. Usually it's between 60 and 90 days, depending on how much money you're spending. But I remember that the biggest branding campaign that I've ever saw, that I've ever witnessed was being run by Grant Cardone, by Grant Cardone's team. So I went in into their ads manager and they had an audience of people that was 2 million people in a custom audience that they built. Imagine how much money they were spending every single month on ads just to get an audience of people that have engaged, watch the content, all of that, 2 million people. Those guys, they understood the power of branding and they still do. They spend a lot of money on branding ads. So if those guys are doing it, then I recommend everyone else to do it. Of course, I got less scale with less budget and all of that. But that's basically why you want to be running branding campaigns 24-7. Now, again, if you want an input on how to create and launch really good Facebook and Instagram ads that work, Every single time, no matter what you're selling, webinar funnels, e-commerce, high-ticket coaching, brick and mortar businesses, e whatever, get my framework. It's on sale right now. Go to 100mframework, 100mframework.com. Get the framework. It's on sale right now. It's really inexpensive, but the value is, I would say, 100 times at this point. So hope that is helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and comment or drop us an email and uh, get the framework. I'm pretty sure it's going to help you. Thank you, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.